Dwight Schrute. Well, hi there, David Wallace. Why would you ever call me when the manager is out of town? Well, I have some very exciting news. And you didn't call Jim. That seems significant. Hey, David. Jim, good. You should hear this, too. Uh, no, he shouldn't. What? Go ahead, David. I'm no. listening. Uh, okay, David, I want to take you off speaker, but I don't know where I'd put you. Guys, listen, this is big news. The Scranton White Pages just got in contact with my office. They have apparently dropped their supplier for the last 10 years. The White Pages. The White Pages. Do you want it? No. Do you use it? No. Does it inexplicably show up on your doorstep three times a year? Yes, yes, and yes. There is a reason we in the paper industry call this thing the white whale. Look at all that sweet blubber. Look, we need our top salesman running point on this, and Dwight, that is you. I'm gonna need to put you on hold for a second. Ta! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Eat it, Jim! Eat it, Phyllis! Eat! Where's Stanley? He's in the bathroom. W will you run into the bathroom and tell him to eat it? Of course. Yeah! Okay. <clears throat> hey, David, I'm back. Eat it, Stanley! So, uh, last I remember, Tom Peterman was in charge of that account? No, my assistant spoke to the receptionist over there. It's someone new, but she didn't catch your name. Her name? No, yeah. hey, Dwight should... <laughs> Thanks, David. Thank you so much for calling me today. Good luck! Good luck to you. Dwight, you can't go. You have a problem with women. You can't sell to them. That is a damnable lie. I love women. Gina Rogers at Apex Technology said you call her Gina for your entire meeting. Ew. That's not good. Yeah, she said she corrected him five times. Gina said that? Guys, we can't let Dwight blow this. An account this size could double our gross. That means raises, bonuses. Pizza Friday could come back. Hey, remember that week in the 90s when we got bagels? <sighs> I miss Clinton. Can you go instead? Yeah, I have the thing. I have this conference call today with this company in Philly that I'm helping start. Uh, first board meeting. Also the first time I've ever been excited about work. So that feels wrong. So uh, show us how you'd normally sell to a female client. Okay. With pleasure. Time to learn a few new tricks, old dog. You got this, Shroot. Okay. okay, you've just walked into her office <clears throat> and begin. Hello. Hello. May I please speak to your boss? No, she is the boss. I am? Yes. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Mr. Hannon. How can I help you? Okay, this isn't working for me because no one would ever believe that she would be a boss. <laughs> He's absolutely right. I'm really struggling here. Oh, I'll be the buyer. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Schrute. Nice to see you. Please have a seat. I never sit down during sales meetings. I want to appear aggressive and imposing. I am going to sell to you in 12 minutes. No, actually, she'd like to take her time discussing her needs. I will tell her what her needs are and then fill them. This is going to work out best for you if you just relax and do nothing. And once I'm finished, it's over. Okay, let's stop here. Anyone have any thoughts? I thought it went great. I have uh, written down a few questions. One, have you ever killed a woman? How many women have you killed? Please, sir, will you not kill me? Okay, when you're selling to women, it is crucial that you listen, Dwight. Also, you want to respect their... Are you listening now? Yes. Okay, well, you have to show us. That's impossible. Listening happens in the ear and in the brain. I mean, some organisms have external hairs that vibrate to indicate auditory stimulation, but unfortunately, our external hairs don't vibrate at all. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What are you doing? A little smile and a nod shows that I hear you. Got it? Kind of. Nellie, why don't you tell Dwight what we were doing earlier today, and Dwight, you show us that you're listening. Well, we were in the warehouse where we were discussing the murals that I've commissioned Pam to paint there. We were talking about the colour schemes and the major themes we want to hit. Children of the world coming together, cutting down trees to make paper, but not in a child laboury way. It's just up and down. Just a regular nod, like a person. I am a person. Of yes. course, you're a person. Yeah. We can do this, all right? And then we thought we... I can't. I just, I can't carry on with that face. Look at it. I'm going to get nightmares with that face. I mean, he looks like he is laboring over a stool having just eaten human flesh. It's a bit extreme. No, I'm, so, I'm sorry, but that is true. He's screwed. The meeting's in less than an hour. 
Oh, all right, God, Dwight, uh, just ignore every instinct you have. It's all garbage, okay? You're the woman. I'm the salesman. Watch what I do and try to learn. Okay. I'm the woman. I'm a woman. Good? Mm -hmm. huh. um, Miss Thomas, so good to see you. Hello. Oh, are those your kids? They're so cute. They could be models. Thank you. I'm so proud of them. I carried each one of them for nine months inside of my torso and then pushed them out of my vagina. Boo! What? Weird. Okay, uh, well, this is a lost cause. He's hopeless. Ten years ago, I didn't care if Dwight got married or died a beet farming bachelor. But having kids makes you so soft. I used to watch Pulp Fiction and laugh, and now I'm like, that poor Kemp is somebody's child.